I'm back with another review. Today from Wave 12 of the Legacy Collection, I have Luke Skywalker in a Snowspeeder gear. Here he is. Also, this figure's been re-released, and I think it's Wave 2 of the Vintage Collection, Saga Legends. So if you missed him, now's a good time to get him. You get the OTC Weapons Pack, as well as the card game and the dice game. Um, with this one, of course, I got build a droid HK-50. I got the head and the gun. <clears throat> it's kind of funny about this gun. I didn't realize it was part of the, uh, the build a droid when I opened the figure. I was like, I know I don't remember Luke with a sawed-off shotgun in Episode 5. Kind of looks like one. Here you go. Anyway, he comes with a lot of gear. Here's the figure. Comes with a lot of stuff. At first, I also thought he was a kit bash. From the uh, X-Wing Pilot Luke. I've got that. I, I haven't reviewed it, but I've used it in um, the Scramble at Yavin diorama. And I looked it up on Rebel Scum. He's not a kit bash at all. He's an all-new figure. The uniform does resemble that, though. This is the first time he's been made in Hoth gear for the uh, Snowspeeder. Before, you actually did have to use the X-Wing Luke for the Hoth Luke. At one point, you had to use the X-Wing Luke for all Rebel pilots back in Kenner's day. Give you a good 360 of him. I have him without the helmet. He's also got some kind of scarf or something on for cold weather gear. Here's the head sculpt. An all new body sculpt too. This is not a kid bash at all from any other Rebel pilots. Here's the helmet. The helmet is pretty movie accurate. Put it on him. I'd be careful taking this on and off because of the strap. It might break. I've got that, I have that problem with a lot of hats and helmets and stuff. Also, it comes with cold weather gloves, gray boots. The other guy had black boots, the other Luke. Uh, some of the gear he comes with. I've got some notes. Um, he comes with a grappling hook and gun, grappling rope, rope, lightsaber, and of course, I just showed you his helmet. What's also odd, this Luke doesn't have an extended lightsaber. It's, it's closed. He's got it in his hand there. So uh, you want to simulate him opening, um, cutting open the AT-AT. -AT. You've got to get like a lightsaber from another Luke. This is the grappling hook and gun right here. Uh, show you. It has a cord. I don't know if it can reach all the way up to the new AT-AT -AT or not. Put it in here. Uh, be careful with it too. It's somewhat flimsy. Ah, there. There you go. Give it to Luke, put it in his other hand. Ah, there. All equipped to take out the new AT-80 -AT Walker. I read you off his articulation. He is pretty articulate. He's got a ball jointed neck. Ball hinged shoulders, ball hinged elbows, ball hinged torso, swivel forearms and hips, ball hinged knees and ankles, and he's got a hole in the leg right here for the grappling hook. Can you see that? Yeah, right there. He is a pretty good Luke, and he does complement the new Dak character I just showed you, as well as the new Snowspeeder. They are built to uh for the to put up a Hoth um, diorama, definitely. All that stuff's made to work together. I just wish the grappling hook were a little bit longer, as well as this cable, to work more with a really big new AT-AT -AT walker. But um, still, he's a really good figure. I'm going to give him a 9 overall. Maybe even a 9.5. Ah, uh, a 9. He's not, like, extra exceptional. He's just really good. But um, I definitely recommend you get this guy for the 30th anniversary, if you missed out on him in the Legacy Collection. As I said, get him now in Saga Legends. And definitely get him if you, if you have the new Snowspeeder. This is Supreme signing out. And as always, thank you for tuning in.